Mid to upper 50s around a lot of the metro as cool as 53 in Louisville, 61 the warm spot in Blair right now. As far as fog goes, Fremont, half mile visibility there, especially the northwest side of town. Highway 30 could be uh, pretty tough there. And then uh, around Miller down toward Gretna, uh, some visibility issues as well. Dense fog, Columbus, Tacama, Shenandoah is improved at the moment, but they've had a quarter mile of visibility most of the morning. So watch out for, once again, some patchy dense fog through about 8, 830 this morning. Big picture, Tropical Storm Harvey still churning across parts of the southeast. Port Arthur, Texas is going to be the town you hear about all morning and all day. Water rising very quickly in that city. Uh, I guess thankfully New Orleans has been spared at least for the time being, but it's still going to bring a lot of rain to the Ohio River Valleys and lower Mississippi River Valleys through the weekend. There's a cold front to our north, a little wave coming through the Rockies. As those move over us tomorrow, there could be a couple sprinkles around here. We have a lot of dry air in place. Thin clouds by noon, temperatures in the mid 70s, light winds all the way through this afternoon. And like yesterday, we'll see the daytime heating cumulus clouds pop up over Iowa and extreme eastern Nebraska. Partly to mostly sunny with highs in the low 80s for a lot of us, maybe some upper 70s under the thicker clouds in Iowa. 10 o'clock tonight, clear, comfortable, low to mid, six, or mid to upper 60s by 10 o'clock. And then just a little fog possible tomorrow morning, not as much as what we've had the last couple of days. And there you go, along that front, just a tiny chance for a rain shower in western Iowa tomorrow afternoon. So low, I just have a 10% chance of rain tomorrow. We're up to 85 in Omaha. More clouds keep us at 82 on Friday. And then a very hot weekend expected. Temperatures in the upper 80s and low 90s, including in Memorial Stadium. And then a big front sweeps through early next week, drops us into the mid-70s by Tuesday.